Look to the deepest secrets of different bills. Hey, don't go dim me, you need it, I got it listed here. Yeah. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it here. Yeah. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done yet. Yeah. We're from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat. You keep the medals, cause the real ones coming up next. Only scratch the surface. Still, they try to drag my name in dirt, they try to bring me down. See me win. You Yo, know what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi. And today I have another special banger for you. All right now, listen. Before we get too far in this video, you know exactly what you need to do. Make sure you drop a like and let's get this video to at least 500 likes, right? That would definitely push the video to the recommended. And furthermore, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe. I'm by far the hardest working YouTuber in the 2K community. And hopefully you can appreciate that 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. upload every single day. And you can show that appreciation by dropping a like and subscribing, all right? Now, let's get straight into this video. So today, my nephews and nieces, what we're gonna talk about is making better, rare versions of a glass cleaning finisher, all right? So we all know glass cleaning finishers and paint beasts pretty much just take over the center position when it comes to NBA 2K21 current gen. Um, we already did the paint beast video um, a couple weeks ago. Now we're coming back doing the glass cleaning finisher, right? So what we're gonna do is this. Well, obviously we're gonna make all these builds at power forward position. And the first one that we're gonna do, believe it or not, is going to be my lob threat, right? Yes, my lob threat, right? And we all know how important that lob threat is to me. It's my favorite build to play on. Now you can make a glass clean finisher out of blue and the red or the pure red. In this instance, excuse me, we're gonna go with the blue and the red or the finishing in the defensive pie chart. So we're gonna go there. And then again, you can make this either out of the pure speed or the speed invert. I love speed invert. If you go pure speed, obviously you'll have, it looks like you'll have three um, more attributes on your speed than you would if you had speed invert. But look at this, your vert's an 84 and then here's 72. So you get 12 additional attributes by going speed invert and just only three if you went pure speed or to your speed. So that's why I'm going there, okay? With the speed invert. Now what you wanna do is you wanna max out your top five, right? One, two, three, no, top four, I'm sorry. And then go 50 and that'll give you 24. Then you wanna go ahead and max out your pass accuracy, your ball handling, and then go 54. And that will give you right there at six, okay? Then you wanna max out your interior defense, your perimeter defense, your lateral quickness, your steal, you wanna go 79 on the block. You wanna go 80 on your offensive rebound and 80 on your defensive rebound, okay? So what you're looking at is 24, one, six, and 21, okay? Again, really, really love this build. Again, we're gonna make it towards warp more of a glass cleaning finisher type. So what you wanna do is you wanna get your burly on your body type. You wanna go 6'8", just like most glass cleaning finishers are, they're 6'8". Then you wanna get your weight and go 195. You cannot go all the way down to 190, I'm past, um, all the way down to 190, I think it's like, you can't go to 185, right? Your speed has to stay at um, 80. If you go 81 to speed, it, it actually changes the name. So you actually wanna go 195 here, okay? 195. Then you wanna get your wingspan and you wanna max it all the way out. Now let's look at a couple things. Most glass cleaning finishers are gonna either be, if you make pure speed and go pure red, they'll have a 94 speed, which is really good. Um, but it just takes away on the vert. So for me, I like the speed in the vert. You're still gonna get a plus eight. You have an 88 speed. And then you also have a ridiculous 97 vert and also an 86 acceleration. I think that's more than enough. One thing that this build gets that a, that a pure red doesn't get, of course, is the Hall of Fame finishing, which is OP because you're gonna have a 98 driving dunk and a 99 standing dunk. Again, with 24 um, um, finishing badges, attributes to work with, which is ridiculous. You also will get six playmaking. And again, you'll have a 74 pass accuracy and a 70 ball handle. Now you ask yourself, you know, what would you do with that six? There's a lot of things you can do with that six. You can go quick first step, you can go unpluckable. There's a lot of ways you can go with that. And then on the defensive side of things, Again, you couldn't max out your offensive defensive rebound, but you still get an 84 um, defensive rebound, an 83 offensive rebound, an 83 block, an 83 steal. You also get an 80, um, let me see, seven, an 81 lateral quickness. You get an 82 perimeter defense, and then you also will get a 72 interior defense. So again, really, really solid. Here you have some choices. You can go with your glass cleaner if you want to, but me, if I always get the opportunity for slasher, no matter what, I'm gonna go with the slasher because slasher gives me, makes my a plus 10 to my speed. So now my 
88 speed becomes a 98 speed, right? My strength comes up, my vert goes up by 10, so now all of a sudden I have 107 vert. Um, there's a lot of things that you can get benefits from having that. Whereas, of course, you know, of course, glass cleaner is gonna allow you to worm better, box out better, and it does give you plus 10 revert. It just doesn't help you out as many categories as this does. So I'm gonna go with that, all right? Now, here you have it, my nephews and nieces, you have the lob threat. Now, for time constraints, I am not gonna go over the bad setup, but now let's head over to the second alternative build to a glass cleaning finisher. All right, my nephews and nieces, now let's head over to the second build. Now, the second build is gonna be the interior finisher, okay? Interior finisher, we're gonna make it power forward, like I said, um, it's gonna be coming from the pure red pie chart. Again, you can make this from the red and blue or the pure red, just doesn't matter. I'm just trying to mix it up a little bit as we go between these th three different builds, okay? But you wanna go with that pure red, all right? Then again, you can go pure speed if you want to, and go speed with vert, but as I've been telling you, I like to go with the speed and vert, so that's why I go with speed and vert, but you can go with the pure speed if you want. And then you wanna max out the top four as usual, and then you wanna go 44 here. Um, that's gonna give you 17. Then you wanna max out your pass accuracy, your ball handling, and then go 58. That's gonna get you right at six. And then you wanna max out, you wanna max out your interior defense, your perimeter, your lateral quickness, your steals, and your blocks. And then here you wanna go 81, on your offensive rebound and 79 on your defensive rebound, okay? So now you have 17, six, and 27. This is a pure red, so you only get gold um, finishing and you get the Hall of Fame um, defense. Again, like I said, you know, in that lob thread, we only had, I think it was 21 defensive badge upgrades. This right here, you get 27, okay? But we also had 24 finishing. This right here, you only get 17. They both had six, okay? Um, again, with the body type, you wanna go burly. You wanna drop six, eight. You want to get your weight all the way down to 190, all right? And then you want to max out your wingspan, of course, to 90. So now you get a 90 speed with this, and you get a 97 vert. You also will get an 88 acceleration. Again, really, really good build right here. Um, you also get a plus four to your finishing. So that means you will have a 93 driving dunk and a 98 standing dunk. You also will get that uh, 74 pass accuracy, 67 ball handle. Your defense, you will have a 76 interior defense. You have a ridiculous 91 perimeter defense, louder quickness, and still 91 across the board. You get a 96 still, and then you also will get 83 offensive and defensive rebounding. Okay, so there is a little bit difference there as far as that goes. Okay, now um, again, you have options. Do not worry about rim protector. It always will come down to glass cleaner and slasher. And to me, like I said, I just said in the live threat, slashing is just the most overpowered takeover. When you have it, it's just very scary. You get contact dunks, you finish at the basket. You're extremely fast up and down the court. And there's so much you can benefit from that. Now, glass cleaner does have its place, um, but I feel like if you're just somebody that's able to position yourself um, pretty well in the game, you should not have any issues. Been numerous times, someone had glass taken, I didn't, and I boxed them out, and I still got the rebound over them, right? So I'ma still go slasher, but you can go, like I said, um, glass can take over if you want to. But then here you have my nephews and nieces, the interior finisher. Again, we're not going over badges due to time constraints. So now let's head over to the third and final build, right? All right, my nephews and nieces, now we're gonna head to the third and final build. Now this one right here is basically, just think of it like this. This is gonna be called a glass cleaning slasher. Not finisher, but a slasher. And the reason why that's gonna be called, the difference between a glass cleaning finisher and slasher is the basically is the ball handle, okay? It's the ball handle. If you get your ball handling over a 70, you're gonna be called a slasher. If it's below that, it's gonna be called a finisher. Now, um, we're gonna go again from a different pie chart here. We're gonna go with the yellow and the red, okay? So you can go either or with this. You can get the glass cleaning finisher name with this if you change the ball handling differently. We're gonna go still go with that speed invert as I spoke about earlier. And then again, we wanna max out the top four. We wanna max out the top four, and then we wanna go 35 here, and that's gonna get you exactly 12. Then you wanna max out your pass accuracy and your ball handling, go 55 here. That's gonna give you 14 playmaking badge upgrades. And in this instance, you can max out everything, okay? So now we max out everything here, and we're gonna have a ridiculous 12, 14, 22. So you're gonna get so much more badges than any of the other, of the other builds, because you get so much more playmaking. So if we just wanna rehash real quick, the live threat is gonna give you the most finishing, okay? If you go with the blue and red, that's gonna give you, I think it was 24, okay? 
this glass cleaning slasher is going to give you the most playmaking at 14 while the other ones had six and then of course the middle build which was interior finisher that's going to give you 27 fin um defensive and rebounding um badge upgrades that's going to be more than the 21 that the lob there gives you and the 22 that the glass cleaning slasher we're working on right now will give you okay so each one gives you a benefit in the either finishing playmaking or defensive rebounding you just pick which one you want the most okay now again you want to go burly you want to go to 68 you want to drop your weight all the way down to 190 all right and then you want to max out your wingspan okay now if you look at this you get a plus eight to your physical so now you have a 90 speed you have a 91 vert and an 88 acceleration which is ridiculous you also will get the plus four to your finishing playmaking and defense so you're getting 85 driving dunk which will allow you to get the pro and elite contact dunks you get a 90 standing dunk you also have a ridiculous 83 pass accuracy with a 74 ball handle you'll get a 68 um interior defense with an 82 perimeter lateral quickness and still you get an 86 block you also will get an 84 offensive rebound and a whopping 90 defensive rebound okay um then when you look over here you have a lot of choices so you actually get glass clean takeover and slash it as usual and you even have playmaking now the thing is is this is that playmaking is actually not a bad takeover to have if you're trying to have fun with it and if you're trying to do something you know like um, maybe if you want to play you know some type of um event and you want to be able to just get outlet passes or you're trying to do dimer like i wouldn't even be opposed to having this in, in um like running wreck because of the opportunity of what it can do also you will be able to dribble extremely well with this build but at the same time slasher gives you a plus 10 to your ball hand and just like playmaking playmaking is fun if you just want to drop some break somebody's ankles i mean to keep it a stack but slashing is still going to be the most overpowering so that's what we're going to do and here you have it my nephews and nieces you have the glass cleaning slasher all right now if you enjoyed this video, if you like all the bills or one out of three or whatever, just make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel. And as usual, your favorite old head, Uncle Demi. I'll be back really, really soon with the banger, man. You know, when I say back soon with the banger, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out. If you come for a low, we gon' give it to him. Take the stop off the top of no transformer. I'm in my ducking and dodging on the corner. Doing flip with a breed like a mighty morpher. Tell myself to get rich and go.